Okay, last round of problems. If D is the midpoint of AL, so let's draw AL and then try to bisect it. That's pretty good. And AL, the entire thing, equals 2x squared minus 8, and DA equals 3x, then find DL. So if D is the midpoint, then DL must be also 3x. So their total must be 6x. So we could say this is AL equals AD plus DL. This is 2x squared minus 8 equals 3x plus 3x equals 6x. Then subtract 6x from both sides. So we have 2x squared minus 6x minus 8 equals 0. Now, there is a greatest common factor, 2, that we could factor out of the whole thing, but we'll show this uh, using the same method we've been using of grouping. So we'll say AC equals 2 times negative 8 is negative 16, and B equals negative 6. So then we're looking for numbers that add to equal negative 6 and multiply to negative 16. That's 8 and 2 where the 8 is negative. So now we have 2x squared plus 2x minus 8x minus 8 equals 0. Greatest common factor in the front, we can factor out not just x, but 2x. We're left with x plus 1. Now on the back, we can factor out minus 8, and again we're left with x plus 1. So that means we have 2x minus 8 times x plus 1 equals 0. So 2x minus 8 equals 0. Add 8, 2x equals 8, x equals 4. Then here we have the x plus 1 equal to 0. Subtract 1 from both sides, x equal negative 1. So we have x equal 4 and x equal negative 1. And if we look at the problem, we see that um, for dl, 3 times negative 1, if we use negative 1, gives us negative 3 for a length, then we can't have a negative length. So x equal negative 1 is out. So we use x equal 4, and we'll say that dl equals 3 times 4 equals 12 units. Number 8. Determine the value of x that, that makes g the midpoint of fh if fg equals 4x minus 2 and fh equals 9x minus 9. So this is an easy problem with difficult language. So let's slow down and make sure that we draw this correctly. G as the midpoint of FH. So we're trying to make G the midpoint by getting the value correct. 4x minus 2 for FG. And of course, this one doesn't give us gh, that would be too easy. It gives us the whole thing. So make sure you're reading carefully. So again, let's label this as 4x minus 2, because it would be the same as this if g is the midpoint. So now we could say, Again, fg plus gh equal fh, and substitute, this is 4x minus 2, plus 4x minus 2, set equal to 9x minus 9. 
combine like terms, this is 8x minus 4 equals 9x minus 9. Add the 9, subtract the 8x. So when we add 9 to negative 4, we get 5. When we subtract 8x from 9x, we get x. And in this case, we're done because it said determine the value of x that makes this true and our answer x equal 5. Good, careful reading. Okay, number 9 has lots of answers that could be right. This is kind of cool. It simply says that A at 3, negative 5 is the midpoint of sum BC. So I'm going to draw a bunch of different possibilities. So any B and C with A in the middle. So we could have like B and C right next to each other like this. So we could go with B at 2, negative 5, and C at 4, negative 5. But there are lots of other ways we could do the problem. We could go farther out. We could go vertical. We could go diagonal. So we could do something like, let's make sure I don't mess this up. This was up four and right two. So we could go down four and left two here. So another possible answer that would be correct could be B at, this is one negative nine, and C at, Five, negative one. Cool. That's hard to read. There we go. Great job, Smarty Pants. You did it.